standing up there all by yourself and 15,000, 20,000 people are just staring at you. I get anxiety thinking about it. I'm a complete perfectionist. I always have been. This sport has been really mentally tough for me. All this internal dialogue going on the entire time. One of the main things that I repeat in competition a lot is only what I can control. When the whistle goes off and then it's just complete silence in the place. It's so stressful, but it's also one of the most amazing feelings when you kill it. I started diving when I was six. Um, I went one summer to this little club program. My parents were like, oh, he's kind of good, but they wanted me to keep playing different sports. They thought, and I also agree, playing all these different sports really helps a lot. Just competitively, you figure out how to, like who you are as a competitor, who you are as an athlete. After a few of the junior nationals, I won at like 10 and 11. I started to take it way more seriously and like go do it like all through the year and like pretty much practice five days a week and do it on top of the other sports. And then I started slowly cutting out the different sports. I had really good awareness of where I was in the air from a really young age. I could kind of just find up and down somehow. For some reason, diving just clicked with me. I have been diving well, but now it's gotten much more competitive in the events that I'm competing in. So I need to step up my dives like consistently nines. It's tough trying to get everything that perfect. From this sport, bouncing back from adversity is uh, one of the main things that I've learned. I got beat, like really beat. and I had never had that happen to me before. It really diminishes your confidence. All I could focus on were like the little things that I didn't do right that I know I could have done right. So it's tough to block all that out, but if you continue to focus on all the bad things that you do, then it's like, it's just not gonna be fun. And one of the most important parts about this sport, it's like, it's a sport, it should be fun. There was one moment when I realized that I could do this. Um, it was actually back in 2008. Um, there's this whole qualification process in order to try to get to Beijing, and I wound up qualifying. And so that's kind of when things hit me, when I actually had a chance to uh, go really far in this sport. That's when I realized that I had a future in it. I mean, at least for me, I was always such a serious kid, and I always like set all these crazy goals for myself and always tried to accomplish it, but sometimes I didn't enjoy the process as much as I should have. So I think like kind of enjoying every day, um, taking something away from like each practice and like being like, that was a good day. I did this today, it was awesome. And soaking up all of those things. And I think when you do that and you like enjoying the sport more, usually you have a tendency to dive better. That's what motivates every athlete at this level. It's like the thought of winning a medal. To have a sword in your hand, it just feels like so powerful. Because it is such one-on-one -on -one combat. Oh! You have a weapon in your hand, who's better? Ready? Thanks. 